Hi everyone, it's Daisy here and welcome back to our Fountain Pens Explained series where we take some of our most frequently asked questions that we get in store as well as online from customers and visitors of the store and um, we make videos out of it. So um, I've already done a what is a fountain pen video and covered some of the basic things about fountain pens that make a fountain pen different from a ballpoint pen or a rollerball pen. And in this video, we're going to be covering the question, what are some good beginner fountain pens? So in our store, we actually have um, all of our fountain pens laid out for everybody to try. And um, we have them in order of kind of the different um, beginner fountain pens, some intermediate fountain pens, as well as some more high-end, um, um, gold nib fountain pens that tend to be a little bit more expensive. So some of the different things that I think of that make a good fountain pen, um, a good beginner fountain pen are definitely um, affordability. Fountain pens range a lot in prices and um, there's just, you can get a fountain pen anywhere from like $6 all the way to thousands of dollars if you look on the internet and search, you know, expensive fountain pens. So if you're just getting a fountain pen or thinking about getting a fountain pen for the first time, you want something affordable, but you also want something that will work really well. And I think that a common misconception about fountain pens is that they are hundreds of dollars or even more than that. But you can actually get a really, really good fountain pen, a great beginner fountain pen that might just be the fountain pen you use for like the next five, 10 years for anywhere from 10 to $20. And if you're looking at $30 range, then you'll really be getting a great fountain pen that you'll use for a good number of years. So I'm gonna just dive right in and talk about some of the favorite beginner fountain pens that we recommend to different people who come to our store all the time. And I'm gonna start with this model right here. This fountain pen here is the Platinum Preppy, and this is a plastic fountain pen, so it's really, really lightweight. It's made by the Japanese fountain pen company, Platinum, and it comes in uh, three different nib sizes. The one that I have here is the one that's like in the middle, so it's 0.3, otherwise Otherwise known as fine, but you can also get it in extra fine, fine, or medium. And you can get it in a number of different colors as well. This is a great starter fountain pen. It's very lightweight. It's good for students because it's under $10. And um, you can refill it. You can use it with a cartridge of ink like we are doing here, or you can get something called a converter and use it with a bottle of ink, refilling it out of the bottle of ink for years. <laughs> a bottle of ink will last you many years. Um, this is a good starter fountain pen because number one, it's super affordable. It's great for students. It also has this signature mechanism called the slip and seal mechanism, which I'm going to try and demonstrate here. So there's a spring, as you can see in the cap, there's the spring here. And what the spring does when you're pushing down on the cap to cap the pen is there's another little cap inside the cap and the spring actually creates a really, really tight seal around the nib of the fountain pen. And that is important because you do want to have an air, as much of an airtight seal as possible around your fountain pen in order to prevent the ink from drying out. So one of the biggest one of the biggest reasons why people think fountain pens are high maintenance or a little bit harder to get into is because the fountain pens from a long time ago used to dry out all the time and they'd kind of be a mess to refill. Um, and then when you dry out a fountain pen, you have to wash it with water to really bring it back to life. With modern fountain pens like the Platinum Preppy, which use the slip and seal mechanism, they are really less likely to dry out. And with a Platinum Preppy, even if you are not writing for, with it for a week or two, you should be able to just pull it out of your pet desk drawer 
uncap it and kind of get it going writing again right away. You don't have to wash it out or worry about the ink drying. So that is my pick for um, one of our beginner fountain pens that I highly recommend. Next up, I wanna talk about the Pilot Metropolitan which I'll show you guys here. This is the Pilot Metropolitan in silver color. It is made by Pilot, which is another Japanese fountain pen company. It comes in fewer nib sizes, fewer standard nib sizes. It's just fine and medium on this one. Um, and one of the reasons why I love a, a Pilot Metropolitan is just because of how classic it looks and it writes really, really well for the cost. Um, another thing is that it is a very sleek fountain pen, a very professional fountain pen, so you can feel comfortable using it in an office or gifting it to someone. Um, and you can use it in very many settings and it's just like kind of one of those pens that looks more expensive than it actually is and it has a good weight to it because it has a metal component so it also feels more expensive than it actually is so that's my pick for another really really solid beginner fountain pen you can't go wrong with this one i love it so much and i think a bunch of our team members have actually chosen pilot metropolitan as their very first fountain pen so okay next up in um really good beginner fountain pens is this one here it's the twisby eco and i have my personal twisby eco here in a jade green color so if you guys have watched the what is a fountain pen video, you'll know that one thing that makes a fountain pen a fountain pen is an ink reservoir. And the Twisbees is a little bit different from a cartridge ink reservoir because this one actually holds ink directly into the body of the pen itself. And the way it does that is with a filling mechanism called a piston mechanism, which we'll talk more about in a future video. But what this allows you to do with a Twisby that you might not be able to do in the Pilot Metropolitan and in the Platinum Preppy, because these are cartridge converter fountain pens, is hold ink directly in the body. And what that means is you're able to get a lot of ink into the pen and have a really, really long lasting ink supply. So this is a fountain pen that is great for people who do a lot of writing and who do a lot of uh, maybe uh, drawing with their fountain pens is another really, really good one. Like some people color in their drawings with ink, in which case, if you'd be using one of these other two previous pens we talked about, you'd have to refill the ink all the time. But the Twisby lasts for a long time in between ink refills and you don't have to constantly go back and pop in a new cartridge. You can just um, fill ink directly from the bottle into the pen. So that's my... That's actually one of my personal favorite fountain pens like ever. I use it all the time. Um, and it also just rarely dries out because of how much ink is in the pen. So it's kind of similar to the Platinum Preppy in that regard. They are a good investment for a beginner fountain pen. Next up and last up in the beginner fountain pen um, recommendations is the Kaveco Sport. This fountain pen is a pocket-sized fountain pen, so I'll bring in the other fountain pens we were talking about. So these are the sizes of all of the fountain pens we were talking about. You can see the Kaveco Sport is the smallest of all of them, so that is what makes it a pocket-sized fountain pen. It really fits into the palm of your hand very comfortably, but when you're writing with it, um, and it's a screw cap, like this. When you're writing with a Kaveco Sport, you put the cap on the back of the pen and it gives it a longer dimension and allows you to write with it a little bit more comfortably. Because if you were writing with a really short pen otherwise, it would actually be kind of uncomfortable to write with if it was too short. But that's what's good about the design of the Kaveco Sport. Um, the Kaveco Sport is 
a fountain pen. Uh, it's a German fountain pen made by the company Kaveco. And they've been making fountain pens since like 1880s, I want to say. It's been a long time, so they know what they're doing. And one of the best things about this fountain pen is that you get a wide range of nib sizes. Everything from extra fine all the way to double broad. Um, so if you like to write really, really small or if you write like to write in like big block letters, they have a nib for you. Um, another great thing about the Kaveco is um, this particular model is plastic, so it's lightweight, but I think everyone on our team has a Kaveco and the reason for that is because they just come in so many different fun colors and there's kind of a color for everybody. So here on this pad of paper are all the different colorways that the Kaveco Sport comes in. There are classic colors, there are the, what they call the frosted colors, and then these are the skyline colors. Um, so you can kind of see there's really a color for everybody and a lot of people like to collect multiple Kaveco sports as well because they are just so collectible um, and recently they also started releasing these limited edition colors and they're called Kaweco Collection Colors. So I think if you're get, just getting into fountain pens and you really like um, a cute pen and you really like your pen to match your notebook or your uh, journal or the rest of your desk, then the Kaweco Sport might be something that is good for you. Okay, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video where we recommended some of our favorite beginner fountain pens. I stand by a lot of these and if you've ever been to the store and picked up your first fountain pen, chances are it's probably one of these four pens that I talked about, whether it's the Platinum Preppy, the Pilot Metropolitan, Twisby Eco, or the Kaveco Sport. Let us know in the comments if you guys have any other questions or topics you want us to cover in these fountain pens explained videos. And let us know if I missed one of your favorite beginner fountain pens. Be sure to let me know. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Thank you! Bye.